It's time for the NBA break, 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 break down. Coming live right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the NBA Breakdown.com. I'm Dave Mandanka. Thank you so much for stopping by. So get this. I'm checking out ESPN.com today. And I'm looking at a story about Carlos Boozer of the Bulls. Uh, He was interviewed and asked uh, what his expectations were for the Bulls this upcoming season. So Boozer says championship. Wow. Championship for the Bulls. Carlos Boozer, my friend, solid player. You're good. You're a 20 and 10 guy. You prove it. Year in, year out. No doubt. The Bulls, good young team. Derrick Rose, phenomenal. Boozer solid, Joachim Noah, beast underneath the glass. Where else can he take his game, though? We'll see. Uh, Lou Aldang, solid season last year, but you always have to worry about injuries with that guy. As well, uh, the bench, eh, the bench is so-so. But uh, I just don't see the Bulls winning. I don't see the Bulls winning a championship. Not in this era, uh, especially with the Miami Heat around. Wade, Bosh, LeBron. And you got the Lakers coming off back-to-back titles. Kobe and Powell, those guys, and Ron, 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 doing their thing out west. You know, and, and let's not forget about the Orlando Magic. They're still a factor. Boston Celtics, they beefed up a little bit in the offseason. So definitely a tough journey ahead for Boozer and the Bulls, especially in the east. The balance of powers totally switched over to the Eastern Conference. So, wow, for Boozer to say that, He's definitely confident in the Bulls. That's great. I just don't see it happening. I just don't think they have the horses. They don't have enough firepower. Their bench, suspect to compete against the big guys of the East. I just don't see it happening. So, Carlos, I wish you the best this season. The Bulls, I see you guys in the playoffs. But aside from that, I don't think a title's in the cards. So, oddly, what do you think? Breakdown. What's going on, y'all? Oddly, Stevens with the NBA Breakdown. We're here talking about Carlos Boozer and his prediction as to whether or not the Chicago Bulls will win a championship title this year. And I get it loud and clear. This is crazy. It's far-fetched. But I can certainly see why he's made that prediction. I mean, first of all, Carlos Boozer, Boozer was brought to the Chicago Bulls to help them win a title. That's the only reason he's there. So when you stick a mic in his in his face and ask him that question, that's a response that you should get out of him. But when you look at the roster itself, despite what Dave seems to think, this is a very, very complete roster. In fact, I'll say it's one of the most complete rosters in the entire Eastern Conference. Look at it. Carlos Boozer, he's a 20 and 10 guy. No doubt about that. He's a beast on the low blocks. You got a guy like Derrick Rose. He's a stud. We all know this guy is an awesome player. Uh, Noah, he's another guy active on the offensive and defensive end. He's a he's a solid low post defender. Uh, he's long. He's athletic. He can create a lot of mismatch problems. So, I mean, that's another another plus. Then you throw in a guy like Taj Gibson, who was a steal at the 26th pick in the draft. You know, and he's paying huge dividends for this team. Then you throw in a guy like Kyle Korver in the mix. So, and, and, and his three-point shooting. So, when you look at the roster, there's a lot of good things going on, despite what Dave seems to think. And, in fact, I'll tell you that the, the Miami Heat bench pales in comparison to the Chicago Bulls bench. So, you know, there's a lot of good things going on. You look at Luol Deng. You know, I think he's going to blossom this year because he's not going to have that pressure to do as much as he has had in the past because he's got a lot of help and he's got the support. So, will the Chicago Bulls definitely win a title this year? I'm not going to say they won't, but what they definitely will be is one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. And, you know, if you finish in that top four, let's say, you know, you're guaranteed that you're not going to have to face definitely Boston and Orlando or Boston and Miami, you might have to face one of those top teams. And what they've been doing the last few years, they've been really showing up for the playoffs, despite you know, despite last year and their 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 fall, their, their problems they had during the regular season. These guys show up in the playoffs and they have for the last few years. So you add those pieces in the mix, you know what? Anything could happen. I wouldn't be shocked to see them representing the Eastern Conference in the finals. I know it sounds crazy, but I wouldn't be shocked if it happened. So that's what I'm giving you, Dave Mendonca. Oddly, Steven, to the NBA Breakdown. We'll see you guys later. Peace. It's time for the NBA Break, 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 Break. Coming live right now. Right now. Right now. For the 
NBA breakdown with Dave and Audley coming live right now. News and notes, highlights and post game quotes. Run, tell your friends and your folks. They bringing you the best of the best. East to the West, All Star Show.